Section 1, Introduction to Threat Hunting. This section contains the foundation knowledge for you to either take your first steps on your career as a threat hunter or information to improve your skills if you already are a threat hunter. As a first step, let's walk through some concepts, starting with what is threat hunting? This is a text I got from Wikipedia describing threat hunting in a few words. Let's read together the first two paragraphs. Threat hunting has traditionally been a manual process in which a security analyst sits through various data information using their own knowledge and familiarity with the network to create hypotheses about potential threats such as but not limited to lateral movement by threat actors. And then, to be more, even more effective and efficient, however, threat hunting can be partially automated and machine-assisted as well. Okay, so that's interesting, as we can use the computer power to help on this process, right? We also see here some terms like UVA, uh, machine rolling, and during this course, we will understand how it works and how we can use those solutions to help us on our daily activities. Another important concept we see here is that this picture is described here in this picture, is that the threat hunting is a continuous exercise, starting with the hypothesis and then going to the investigation, uncovering uh, TTPs and enriching the data. This is not like a one-shot process, right? So if we take a real-world example to illustrate this, right? Imagine a scenario where you, you see an outbound traffic from a machine in your internal network communicating with an internet server on port 443. Okay, so you have a machine, you know, internal environment communicating with an external host on port 443. After some investigation, you see that this external host was reported as a command and control server of a handler group. After that, uh, you will start an in-depth investigation to drill down all the internal hosts, but that uh, also started uh, that also started the communication with that external host, and then you discover that a machine from the HR was the first device presenting this behavior after the user reported that he or she opened an email attachment. You see, you see this attachment and you send this file to a sandbox solution for analysis. And then you notice that it downloads a payload that uses SMB file sharing for spreading. In this example, we, we see all phases of this cycle, right? So that is what threat hunting is about. Um, and to finish, some com a common question I get from students is, is threat hunting a replacement of my protection and detection uh, mechanisms? And the answer is no, it's an exercise that acts as an additional layer uncovering threats that stayed undetected by those protection and detection solutions. So in other words, it's a complementary piece. Okay? In the next video, we will talk about the Threat Hunter mission.